How to know if someone has a disabling, crippling, emotional, or mental health issue. Trigger them. Put them through a very stressful life situation. And it's likely they'll crumple down if they still don't have coping skills or abilities or if they still don't have proper treatment for their mental health issues. I know from experience, I bet even a licensed therapist might... uh, say that Um, now sometimes people that are not diagnosed with mental illnesses or people that are um, that aren't don't have mental illnesses they can get triggered by something you know a life experience that's really stressful or maybe a bunch of experiences that are very 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 stressful I'm going through something right now Um, I'm being reviewed for my social security disability I've had a mental illness since I was a child, and I'm collecting benefits from, uh, I'm an adult adult survivor. My father collected railroad and social security, and now I'm I'm doing it, and um, adult survivor, if you don't know what adult survivor social security means, you look it up right now instead of interrogating me. It's a real thing. But I know there are people in the world that doubt, maybe including me, that doubt that mental illness is a disabling problem, especially when there are videos all over YouTube and inspiration all over the internet that say that you can you can beat mental illness or you can beat very serious emotional issues, especially issues that are environmental or caused by external stuff like abuse and whatnot. So, um... I don't know if I have a case or not with Social Security, but I had one all my life because I had symptoms that were very, very crippling, um, whether it was very, very low self-esteem down, down in the minuses and depressive ideas and thoughts that plagued me every day and er- maybe every minute, maybe even in my sleep and in my dreams that kept telling me to end myself, kept telling me that I had no right to be here and that I was just... A piece of you know what, and uh, just 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 get out of here. And uh, the difference today is, I'm not acting on those feelings and those thoughts. I'm safe. I'm safe because I'm not physically doing anything to hurt myself or anything. But um, if you want to test someone to see if they're mentally ill or not, it doesn't take a certified psychiatrist sometimes to uh, test someone, to certify someone for uh, mental illness. All you got to do is put them through a lot of stress, such as, uh, or maybe life has to just put them through a lot of stress, put us through a lot of stress, and say, uh, this year is your review for Social Security, and uh, in about maybe a month we might have another government shutdown, which might shut down your review and mess up your benefits. Um, Your roommate still uh, hasn't been reviewed for Medi-Cal, and he should have been by now. So maybe it's about, maybe they still think that uh, you guys are married, so you've got to worry about that. And uh, just just doubt everywhere. Um, landlord wants to uh, interrogate and inspect your apartment, and uh, that's still hanging over your head. You don't know if you're in over your head in your debt. You don't know this or that. Um, and you've got the voice constantly, if you will, the voice constantly telling you that you're worthless, that you're not okay, that you're just late lazing around on your fat ass, and you can't do anything right, you're not dateable, you're not friendable, you're a piece of lovely SHIT. So, um, that can probably disable anybody if they don't, if they don't know how to deal with it. You know, and even in therapy, how many hours have I spent arguing even with a therapist um, saying it, it's just it's no no use. You know you're you're getting paid to tell me that I'm all right. You're getting paid to tell me to believe in myself. You know, let me let me backtrack right now, you guys. The uh, the bad thoughts in the voice are like a computer virus. It will upgrade just as you upgrade your mental your mental uh, health. You can upgrade and update your mental health like you can update a computer virus. But after a while, 
if the virus keeps, uh, if the computer virus keeps uh, updating itself and learning how to work around your uh, your newfound self confidence or your newfound ideas that you might get from supportive people or your therapist or whatever, um, or from uh, inspirational videos you might watch on YouTube, if it gets around that enough and gets into you and really tells you and convinces you to a man that you need to go and kill yourself or you need to, uh, you know, just end it all, that's dangerous and that's disabling. You can barely focus on working a job. I wish that... I'm having enough trouble even finding a psychiatrist. I had to switch health plans just now, and I'm still not sure if I can uh, find one in network. That leaves me in a bad place as well. Um, I have to get a psychiatrist to uh, help me with the uh, review for Social Security, and I don't know if I'm going to find one or not in time. And um, I'm having a hard time defending my case because of the, the way my thoughts are going right now. I I can't believe, maybe I'm having trouble believing, maybe I'm the one that's having trouble believing that, that mental illness is a disability. Maybe I'm the one that's having trouble with that. I don't know. But I've never worked a job before. I Unless you want to count spinning a sign and helping my roommate work a job and help us uh, make the rent because the social security benefits we have aren't even enough. He says they're they're ha- they're 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 less than minimum wage, and um, God, that's not enough. Minimum wage is barely barely enough for a person to make a living. And um, when you have such bad self confidence, and you are so inundated with your thoughts, it's difficult to focus on on working. It is. So it's a vicious circle when you tell someone with a mental illness that they're not really disabled. When you tell somebody that they're lazy, when you have a voice in your head that's telling you you're lazy and you're a piece of shit and you need to just end it, that's that should be that should constitute a disability, whether it's temporary or permanent. If uh, if I get sent to a doctor by Social Security for an exam, I'm going to tell it just like it is, because it's true. I can't get around this voice. I can't get around this uh, this shit in my head. And, um, I can't get, you know, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't get around it. And I don't know if a therapist or a psychiatrist can even get around it. I've tried all kinds of medication. Yes, I have. I've tried a lot of medicine. I've been hospitalized sometimes when things have gotten this bad. And I'm alive today because I'm not acting on this, on this feeling. I'm, yes, I'm lying down flat on my bed right now, but, um... I'm making sure that I, I, uh, I have the most minimal self-care. You know, I'm, I'm remembering to eat a little. I'm remembering to drink, drink enough water. You know, I'm remembering to take care of myself. But I'm not motivated. And that's a dangerous place. It's a really dangerous place when you're, when you're inundated by stuff on the outside and on the inside. Um, that's like that's like telling someone you're not disabled and then uh, breaking their fucking wheelchair, or telling somebody you're, you're not disabled and chopping off their other leg. It's spiteful and it's cruel. Um, we need a lot of education. I'm, there's a lot of education about mental illness, and I like that. But I wish more people would talk about it being a disability. You know, it's not to make people lose hope. To recover from it or live with it, but it should be good for a case for Social Security, especially if you have trouble finding a fucking doctor who's in your network. I talked to Social Security today, and they're pretty damn ignorant on the phone anyway. They uh, they said, "Why don't you talk to your insurance provider?" And I said, "And I said, I wouldn't, ma'am. I wouldn't be calling you if I hadn't talked to them already. They can't help me. They don't know." Uh, they don't know what doctors accept the other insurance that I have. They have to accept both. And I keep getting referred back and forth. And I'm asking you, um, is Social Security going to uh, give me a medical exam if I can't find anybody who will do it on, by myself? 
And if the answer is no, I am fucking screwed. <laughs> I don't even have a psychiatrist to validate validate me when I'm feeling doubtful like this. You know, I'm addressing the listeners again. When you don't feel like you have an advocate, and if you don't feel like you can advocate for yourself, that is a dangerous place to be. And I wish that were a disability in itself. If you guys hear from me again, that means I'm still alive. Peace.